Hey, it's Pete here, and I'm back again for another weekly free instant tournament. As usual, I'll show you how to get in. So log into BBO, go up to Solitaire, then weekly free instant tournament. Give it a shot, we can compare, and uh, let's see what we can do. So here I got a flat 15, and my partner preempts three diamonds. So uh, three, four choices pop out to me. Um, I could bid three no trumps. Uh, I could pass or I could redouble. Um, after I pass, I can still double the opponents. After I redouble, I can still double the opponents. Uh, so they're all choices. So whenever partner preempts, the first thing that I like to do is just visualize a typical hand I think they might have, which would be like ace queen to seven diamonds. Now, if they've got that, I think we'd be able to get seven diamond tricks and two hearts. Um, and maybe a club or a spade, depending on uh, what they do. Alternatively, I could just like redouble and try and double the opponents here. So how many defensive tricks do I think that we'll get? Now, if they choose hearts or clubs, I think they're in a fair bit of trouble. If they choose spades, I'm a fair chance to get a spade trick. Two hearts, one diamond, maybe a club. Um, but I could always just like redouble, see if they bid hearts and double them if they do that. If not, try three no. Um, I could also just like choose to pass and pass and just not try for three no trumps. Um, but let's uh, redouble and uh, just double them in four clubs. I think that's possibly the best thing that I could have heard. Um, they're like a level higher. Oh, dummy's got. Doubles and diamond. Okay, so my partner has got like ace jack to seven diamonds. Uh, the two of spades here is from like a three card suit. So I think spades are four, three, three, three. Uh, my partner has probably got a singleton club and two hearts. So I'm going to guess my partner is a three, two, seven, one. And... Uh, they got the ace jack of diamonds. They might have something else. So uh, double check. Didn't see what they played. Just low. Okay. Fancy. So my partner's at like a 733 three or something. Ace queen to five. Played me for king fourth, which is reasonable, but yeah. So I've got ace, queen, jack to six clubs. I don't have a club trick. I've got two spades and six clubs. I don't see them getting much else, but uh, yeah. <laughs> David Devine said, good luck. And Roadrunner said, dang, what a ballsy play by the robot. Yeah. Like, um I don't know why they didn't lead the jack to begin with. So jack, king, ace. Um, yeah. One of my partner discard some diamonds. Okay. Okay, so I think my partner's a 7-3-3. So we want to cash out um, appropriately. So I'll just take the king of hearts. And uh, I could play the king of diamonds. And... After I play a diamond, my partner should uh, win and play a heart. Should win and play a heart. They didn't. I guess I could have just cashed the heart. Can my partner pitch all their hearts? Okay, uh, my partner knows that the spades are up, don't they? Well, I guess like it was totally in my control to cash the heart afterwards. Um, I knew the shape, but I just really just assumed they'd do that. Some people were just bidding um, three no, they were getting like 70, 90%. So double three no worked well. As I said, hearing them bid hearts or clubs, I thought it was pretty good. Like. 
partner has not the best hand for defending four clubs, but the Ace of Diamonds is fine. But uh, yeah, could have still got 70%. Happy to get 50% out of that, really. Um, that's uh, pretty fortunate to get 50% when it's pretty easy to get it down to. Uh, well, 15. So, triple four one. These are notoriously hard to bid. I could consider a no trump, but uh, typically just open um, a diamond and then um, try and take it from there. Not interested in game, but I'll just compete to three diamonds. We pushed them up a level. Uh, Roadrunner said, What's the benefit of not taking the ace of hearts in your hand? Why have partner lead a heart to you and then give them a chance to mess it up? Uh, I was largely just considering uh, what if the shape was something different and they roughed the heart. Um, like, the, the robots will never do this, but like, what if my partner had preempted with six diamonds and four hearts or something? Um, in which case, they know that the third diamond's standing up and they know how to cash it when I go king of diamonds diamond. So like partners just in a spot where they know which red suits standing up like a hundred percent, I thought. Um, whereas I was like almost certain. But if I thought that the robot wouldn't notice that the, like we needed to cash out, then uh, yeah, I should have taken it. I'm thinking about doubling here. That's probably wrong. Um, but like at match points, I thought we're making three diamonds. Are we beating them one trick? I'll just pass. But double, I think, is perfectly reasonable here. Five of spades. Now my partner doesn't have four spades. They might have three. Looks like diamonds are... Wait, we're going to get one diamond trick. I might be able to give my partner a spade rough. Seems less likely. Five, three. Okay, so my partner's got the doubleton, so I can. So I can win the ace here and give them a rough. And then um, if you're playing with a person, you can give suit preference when you're trying to let them rough by, uh, if you return the lower card, it says, hey, I want you to return the lowest ranked suit. So clubs in this case, you exclude the trump suit, you exclude the suit they're out of. And here the four of spades would say, hey, play a diamond. So it's possible my partner doesn't have the ace of diamonds and I want them to find the, the club. But, uh, here they catch the ace and then hopefully they play a club over to me. Nope. I'll still get my club trick. Um, but I wanted to win and see if I could give my partner a trump promotion. Um, with partner dropping the queen, there's no trump promotion available. So we just want to see if we can get a club trick. And I've got the uh, rest from there. So partner didn't want to play clubs because uh, the they can guess the club suit then, um, which is fair, so no need to do that. But uh, they're down two, so I could have got plus 300. Still get 68% even though uh, we didn't double. I only got to play three diamonds. They bid three clubs over it. Interesting. Um, someone doubled two hearts. I'm surprised no one doubled three hearts here. Okay, so here someone bids spades, but partner really shouldn't have spades. Like, I guess it's not completely impossible, but usually they'll double to show four spades. But in the competitive situation, some people won't. But um, yeah. Doubling three hearts looks, was the winning action there, I think. Hey, Death Control. Hey, ACB Luke. Um, flat 13 count. At four, four, two, three. So one club. Mm, pass. I think this one will be really interesting for trying to place the points, especially because this is a best hand tournament. Um, so I've got 13. My partner has at most five, which would be 18. I'd give the opponents 22. Um, seems like partner's got less than that. 
Uh, dummy's got 12, and this three no trump bit is probably up around 13. So I've got 25. My partner's got two points. Um, my partner could have the queen of hearts, maybe the queen or jack of clubs, or maybe the jack of spades, jack of diamonds. They're the sorts of cards that I'm looking at here. Um, with West passing and then jumping to 3-0, they've usually got good clubs because they've got values. They couldn't make it take out double. Also, my partner led the two, which could be from three or four, but West has at least four. I'm thinking I really want my partner to have the jack of spades, um, and then we can get two spades, two clubs. Um, let's give that a shot. Okay. So I've still got the ace of clubs in, and then I can get um, two spades after that. So my partner's got room for another jack. It's like they took two rounds of hearts, and now they're cashing out. Um, what did we see there? Diamond. Uh, so... I've got the Queen of Hearts. I've got the Queen of Diamonds. They know I have the Ace of Clubs. Um, so their diamonds could be set up. So let's say they've got they've got five tricks at the moment. They've got two diamonds for seven, the Queen of Hearts for eight, uh, and the Queen of Clubs for nine. So in case I'm missing anything, I should probably just hop up and cash out. Probably should have played a heart just in case partner had the queen of hearts instead. Um, I think that's like a near zero chance. But 92% uh, just for holding them to three no there. Partner had the two jacks, so that was great. Um, exactly what I wanted to see. Three clubs doubled. Okay, so after the double, they decided to... Bit of heart and partner that's unreasonably punishing for you. So <laughs> um, I don't like I don't think bidding a heart's that bad, but I don't really see any point to it. Um, <laughs> partner bidding three clubs is uh, severely punishing for that action. Anyway, balanced 15 count, pass, pass, pass. So strong no trump, and then no, I don't have a four card major. Okay, eight of hearts lead. So my entries are a bit cooked, but we've got 10 opposite 15. So we've got 25. The opponents have 15. No one opened. We've got a club suit. We've got a diamond suit to attack. They know I don't have hearts or spades. This eight of hearts really looks like top of a doubleton. I got two diamonds, two hearts, and a club for five. I could try building tricks in clubs or diamonds. I could try something like low towards the 10 of diamonds or low towards the eight even. Um, but let's uh, duck here. Interesting. So they didn't hop up with the queen. So maybe it's from queen 10, eight. So I got three hearts now. If I get four diamonds, I could just play like a low diamond towards the 10 and be in a decent spot. Um, they are likely to attack spades, which would mean I'd get one spade, three hearts, four diamonds in a club. So let's give that a shot. Okay, really glad to see the queen in the west hand. It meant that if you took the, the finesse the other way, you'd be, um, you'd be losing anyway. Um, and now that I'm shifting to a spade means I'm guaranteed a spade trick here. So let's just duck that. <laughs> that beer card's looking awfully tempting. Uh, but if that was a singleton queen, I can't afford to duck it. Okay. The beer goes begging. 
Um, if I give up a club, uh, then like if I give up a club, they can take a club and a spade. Whereas I just want them to win and play spade, spade. And then if someone has the king, queen of clubs and the long hearts, they're in trouble. So let's just catch the ace of clubs. And I'm just going to keep an eye out for the king, queen of clubs. And if I don't see that, then I'm just going to be playing hearts from the top and just see if my hearts are winners. Okay, 89%. Some people got to one no. Okay, they devalued their 15 count. Other people went off in three no. Okay, um, board number five. And here we've got 18 highs. So a club and two no trumps showing 18, 19 balanced. Uh, partner's only got four hearts, doesn't have four spades. Um, they have 11 points, okay. We have three diamonds on the lead, three spades, and three hearts. So it's about playing for extras. See if the jack of hearts falls. I can see if the spade jack falls. I could also choose to finesse um, finesse the uh, jack of spades um, through east. Um, Yam Nyao said, hey Pete, thanks for this. I'm snowboarding in your country in Cool and Gatta. Not many people come here to snow, uh, do snowboarding, especially in um, summer. <laughs> but we did have a cold snap just recently. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I don't think I... I can finesse the Jack of Spades either way, but if I finesse and East wins and they lead a club through, I do still have a club stopper, but um, if I finesse uh, through East and West wins and they want to play clubs, I get a club trick guaranteed. Like, because I've got nine toppies, I could even have 11 top tricks. I don't want them to be able to get like a spade and two clubs straight away. Whereas if I play like West for the Jack of Spades and then they play clubs, because diamonds look less appealing now, um, I'm going to get an extra trick there. Uh, I might actually give that a shot. They didn't continue, so I wanted them to switch to clubs. They didn't go for that. Um, all right, so they led passively there. Let's see what damage I did here. Um, okay, so spades were four, triple three. There's a heart. Yeah, so the hearts are all good. Um, I potentially need to lead a club. So I'm in a spot where I finessed a spade where the spades were actually 3-3. Three, three. Um, and because of that, if I just cash the ace of diamonds and lead a club, then uh, Probably doing worse off than the people that just cashed their winners. That being said, uh, if East has the ace of clubs, they're out of everything else. So I think I'll um, get my king of clubs anyway. Yeah, so probably getting a bad score here. 25%. The robot did well not um, attacking clubs. Um, 
I should have thought that if they had ace jack, that well, like even just the ace, they're not going to. The times that they would attack clubs, and maybe if they didn't have the ace. Um, but yeah. Okay. Um, 18 points. There's a really nice ace 18 count. I kind of want to show this as like 19 points. Uh, to show a 19 balanced hand, you want to double and then bid no trumps. So uh, two spades preempt three hearts. So three hearts will often be a five card suit, even if it's not. I think we're okay. Uh, but I got some extras here I want to bid on. I could have contemplated something like three no. Uh, no, not three no, uh, three spades asking for a stopper. Um, we are in a 4-3 fit. It's okay. Dummy's got four high card points. They do have a stiff diamond, which is pretty terrible for me. Um, but we got the king of clubs lead. We know spades are 6-2. Um, uh, we've got sort of two club losers, at least, probably more. We've got three spade losers. We've got four opposite... 17, 21, 19 points missing. It's like 12 and 7. I think West has like ace queen of um, spades. Hopefully this doesn't get rough. Okay. Not a success, I'd describe this as. Uh, right. So uh, they took the queen jack. They've still got like, um, I'm pretty sure he says the uh, got king, queen, jack of clubs, king of spades. He says the king of diamonds. And here, if I they have to hold on to a club and they'll have to come down to two diamonds here. Um, and now I can play a diamond to the queen or like when they came down to a singleton king, I was OK. So down to 64 percent. Wow. I'm the only one in four. Oh, no, I'm not. A lot of people got to four hearts. They started with a double as well. Uh, Death Control says, partner's bid here looks kind of awful. I feel like they should just pass. Four card hearts, four points going voluntarily to the three level. So here, partner is favorable. They do have a singleton diamond, and queen jack fourth heart is kind of useful. Um, they do think I just have a regular takeout double, in which case the opponents aren't playing in a bit in spades. So for that reason, I think they should be a bit hesitant there. But I'm not going to call them out too much for that. Some people will let two spades make, so if they bid a diamond. I think the other choice I had was just bidding a no trump. Um, I didn't really want to overcall a diamond here on this hand, really. South bid a heart. That's such a weird way to get to four hearts. Um, right. Okay, uh, we've got 12, 15, strong no trump. Transfer and two hearts it is. Okay, partner's got six points. We've got the jack of spades, which looks like top of a doubleton. So spades are four, two, two, five, or four, one, two, six. We're missing the ace king of diamonds. We've got three club losers. Um, I could. Uh, lead a club towards the king. I can try setting up the diamond, but uh, I want to start by drawing trumps. That's really strange. Um, so now my ten of spades is high and my queen. Um, but my entry to untangle it's really awkward. What? 
Okay, so like the real reason that um, East, uh, the real reason it's strange that East played third hand high is if they knew their partner, like they can see the 10, that they know their partner's led from a uh, double turn or a singleton. They have no real need to put up the uh, king of spades at all. They could just duck. Right. Um, I could draw trumps. And then lead a diamond. Or I could draw tr like most of the trumps. And then let's play a heart to the king just in case West false carded. They did. Okay. So we can let go of a club here. Um, one issue is we might get forced in trumps a little bit. Although West winning that diamond's great news. Oh, everything's coming up, Pete. Okay. Now we just want to check to see if the eight of diamonds falls. Oh, now we're talking. Look at that. This isn't pre-recorded at all, but uh, oh. get the beer card <laughs> with 96 to boot as well. How awesome is that? Uh, such a cool hand. Um, I have no idea why they uh, popped up with the king of spades. They false carded me with the jack of hearts. They unlocked their eight of diamonds and they led away from their ace of clubs. I don't know what I did to cause that, but I'm going to be very thankful there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, 14 high card points, three passes to me. We'll open a diamond. I've got ace, king, ace, king. I really like that, but four, triple three. Um, Partner's got 10 points. So like three no might be okay. Um, well, the diamonds are a bit flimsy, but you got three spades, two hearts, a diamond. You could build some clubs. Um, I'm not sure I want to duck this heart um, because they might be able to get into diamonds too quickly. So let's go up with the ace and uh, lead a club. That's good news. All right, looks like they've led from Queen 10 9. Yep. Um, but we're just leading another club. Basically, I, if I ducked it, we would have got an extra trick here. But, okay. Not that I'm getting it, but out of principle, preserve the beer. And we've got the rest. 32%. So here, uh, I'm probably losing to people that just ducked the opening lead. But here, if I duck the um, opening lead and uh, West wins the queen and like decides to shift to a diamond, um, you're not going to get time to set up the clubs. So ducking it works really well when they've led from an interior sequence and works out pretty poorly if they just opt to, to switch away from that. Um, board five, this one I do think that finessing the spade was a pretty poor choice. Um, board one, I could have cashed my winner, but we still finished with 64% here. This final board, I think uh, not ducking was a good choice, but uh, didn't pan out to uh, work, but some pretty cool hands. Hope you all enjoyed them. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.